also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Woo. The second says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Come on, speak to us, God. Covetous. Boasters. Proud. Blasphemous. Mm -hmm. Disobedient to parents. Mm -hmm. Unthankful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody says unholy. unholy. In the midst of everything that's going on, praise God. Holiness, amen, is being ignored. The Bible says that, for be ye holy, for I am holy. Come on now. Many times we want to be with everybody else and we want to be in with the in crowd. And so we find ourselves not understanding that not only does holiness mean right living and right standing with God, but holiness also causes you to be separate. Uh -huh. Come on. There is a standard. There is a difference between right and and wrong. Yeah, that's right. There is a difference, amen, between the lambs and the goats. Uh -huh. yes. Come on. But in a world, praise God, it says that men would begin to love their own selves. Mm -hmm. Come on now. It says not only that, but they would covet and want what somebody else had. The Bible also talked about how they would be so proud. Come on. The Bible said they would be blasphemous to talk and speak anything against God. Mm -hmm. And no doubt they have no reverence for God's people. I know. Say they would be heady, high minded, mm -hmm. disobedient to parents, mm -hmm. unthankful, mm -hmm. unholy. Sanctification calls sometimes you have to be by yourself. Uh -huh. Come on. Right. And everybody's going, doing their thing, and doing Come whatever. On. You got to get long time with God huh, to get your perspective on what God wants for you. Now. Which direction do you want me to go, God? What do you want to say to me, Lord? How are you speaking to me, Amen? There's so many things we want and we desire, praise God, to make ourselves feel so worthwhile, and it's different for different people. Uh -huh. I know many of us have a desire, praise God, to have a church full. Amen. 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 But until you had a church full, you may not desire it. Yes. Mm. Amen. Amen. I want a church with peace. Yes. Somebody might go on home with all kinds of nice things in the house, uh -huh. but no peace. Yes. All right. Beautiful things are raised. Some of us want automobiles with certain emblems on the front to let no status that you have, amen, but only to have no peace in the automobile. Yes. You may want a certain type of woman or a certain type of man, mm. but there's no peace involved. Sanctification and holiness was caused you, as Peter said, I've learned how to abound and I've learned how to abase. Uh -huh. I've learned to have and I've learned how to be a have not. Yeah, come on. When you learn the lessons of God, it will make you stand out because everybody's wondering, why aren't you like everybody else? Oh, come on, man. Why aren't you yes. desiring to get everything everybody else is yes. trying to get? Yes. But when you've been to a point where you've had, somebody say, you know, I was talking to somebody years ago, a few people, and I was telling them, I said, you're all right, he's all right, he was messing up, doing all kind of crazy stuff, and I said, he's all right, he just ain't had enough yet. He ain't had enough yet. Now, what do you mean not had enough? He ain't had enough cars. He ain't had enough women. He ain't had enough alcohol. He ain't had enough problems. He ain't had enough issues. He ain't had enough friends, amen. He ain't had enough knives in his back, amen. See, sometimes they haven't had enough, praise God. When you get enough, then you realize that all the things that you thought you wanted. So when you think, oh, boy, if I just could live in this neighborhood, I'm going to be all right. Huh. If I just get this and I get that. Yes. And I can remember being a young man 